Hey folks, Jordan with TYT, TYT Politics, coming to you from New York. Hope you're having a nice day. I wanted to discuss uh, Governor Rick Snyder of Michigan. Uh, if you watched my town hall in Flint, Michigan last week, uh, I did quite, uh, quite a few uh, sections on Governor Snyder, uh, his criminal defense fund that taxpayers of Michigan are paying for, uh, it, pertaining to the Flint water crisis, on his shady donors and their ties to fracking, which in my view is part of why they switched from Lake Huron water to the Flint River in the first place. Um, I talked about uh, the fact that Governor Snyder has been fighting tooth and nail to stop paying for water collections, uh, to not pay for home water delivery door to door uh, and other items. So. Obviously, Snyder and his gross negligence was a big part of the reason that Flint had the water crisis in the first place. But now, uh, it came out the other day that Governor Rick Snyder is essentially trying to cover up um, and shield who is bidding for contracts in the state of Michigan, which obviously might play a part uh, in the Flint w in changing the pipes in Flint. Uh, if you watch the town hall, you'll know that uh, a settlement was just reached where um, the state of Michigan and the federal government will be picking up the tab for changing 18,000 pipes in the city of Flint. Now, that isn't going to be done until 2020. So uh, most citizens of Flint are not exactly jumping for joy that they have to wait three years for 18,000 toxic lead uh, and copper pipes to be changed. Uh, they still can't drink their water. Uh, they still have bacterial and fungi issues. Uh, this, if this claiming that the water is safe to drink uh, with a filter is not exactly uh, something that's fully believable. I'd encourage you to watch parts of uh, my town hall from last week. They're up at youtube.com slash TYT politics. But now Snyder is trying to um, cover up who is bidding for contracts. For Flint. So let me let me show you the headline: Schneider signs law shielding records until contracts announced. Bids submitted by companies vying for a state government contract will be exempted from public records requests until the contract winner is announced under legislation signed by Governor Rick Snyder. The law, which takes effect immediately, shields records containing a trade secret or financial or proprietary information from being released under the state's Freedom of Information Act. The state's Freedom of Information Act is pretty crappy in the first place. That's why journalists have had issues getting access to Snyder's emails prior to 2014. Snyder has been unwilling to release his emails from before 2014. Uh, and in those emails before 2014, we would have more clues or direct evidence on the reasons Snyder allowed uh, and signed off on his undemocratic, unelected emergency manager to okay the switch from the uh, Detroit's water system to uh, Flint water. So now he is basically trying to shield who is bidding for contracts in the state of Michigan and who generally bids for contracts and many times is granted those contracts. Wait for it. Donors. The donors to people like Rick Snyder or people in his administration or elected officials oftentimes are handed out big fat contracts. It, is, it has happened for the KWA pipeline. Brief history lesson again, the reason Flint switched from uh, Detroit's water system, getting clean water from Lake Huron to the, to the Flint River, which is dirty, and they didn't add the proper corrosive controls to make sure that lead and other contaminants didn't uh, lodge into the water was because that was a short-term solution until the private KWA pipeline that they're pushing was ready. The KW, KWA pipeline is still not ready, but uh, a lot of Snyder and also City of Flint officials, their donors and political contributors were handed contracts for the KWA pipeline. So now Snyder, is basically shielding who is bidding for contracts until those contracts are awarded. I'll continue. The law, which takes effect immediately, shields records containing a trade secret or financial or proprietary information from being released under the state's Freedom of Information Act. A state spokesperson 
A state spokesman has said the old law permitted the public opening of vendors' proposals at the time of bid closing, letting them view competitors' bids before negotiating with state officials. Snyder signed the bill Thursday and announced the signing Friday. It was sponsored by Republican Senator Rick Jones of Graham Ledge. So, in a state that for over a year told citizens complaining uh, that their, their lead water, their water was brown, that they were getting sick, a state that basically told the citizens, nothing to see here, your water is fine, it's not linked to switching to uh, the Flint River, the state is now choosing to be even less, less transparent in who is fighting for bids. Does, don't the citizens of Flint, the citizens of Michigan, the citizens of America, have a right to see uh, who is bidding for these contracts in real time if those people bidding for contracts have any conflicts of interest, if they are donors to Rick Snyder, if they are donors to any of the officials that were involved with this debacle in Flint? Don't people have a right to see who is bidding for these contracts? A, are they political contributors? B, are they qualified? If you, do, if you, have, if you don't know, a couple weeks ago, the state of Michigan and Flint said they don't need actual certified plumbers. You don't need certified plumbers to come into your home to fix uh, pipes related to the Flint water crisis. So they were basically letting, I could, I could be a subway worker and go in there and say, I know how to change a pipe in Flint and be awarded that job, according to the state of Michigan. So, and by the way, Rick Snyder has a history of corruption. If you followed my town hall, I also, I also wrote a piece for the Young Turks Medium page. Rick Snyder, uh, his, some of his biggest donors to his 2010 uh, governor's campaign in Michigan, as well as his 2014 re-election campaign, are companies and individuals very, very in love with fracking, as I like to call them, mother frackers. So, uh, William Parfait, uh, he has donated up to $300,000 to Rick Snyder from 2010 to 2017. He used to be on the board of directors of a Monsanto. Monsanto has direct uh, benefits from fracking because they deploy nitrogen, fertil nitrogen fertilizer in their agricultural uh, business. Nitrogen fertilizer is 90% made up of natural gas, PVS chemicals, another one of big, uh, Snyder's big donors. They sell the um, pre, they sell uh, some of the chemicals that is used in the pre-fracking process. So they have uh, a lot of connections to fracking and natural gas. So basically Snyder has awarded some of his biggest donors with opening up conditions for more fracking. And by the way, this KWA pipeline that I just described to you, which was at underneath the whole process of switching from Lake Huron and Detroit's water system to Flint, they are going to frack along the whole path of the KWA pipeline, which it's a lot easier to do that kind of fracking along a privatized pipeline than it is a public, uh, a public pipeline that is state issued. So why is this important? Another example. Uh, he headline from, let's see when this is for, um, doo -doo -doo, 2014. More corruption in the Snyder admi administration. 26.4 million in no-bid contracts awarded to campaign donor. The Michigan Democratic Party released bombshell news today that the Snyder administration awarded 26.4 million in no-bid contracts to a high-dollar donor to the Snyder re-election campaign. On June 9, 2014, the owners of J&B Medical Supply, which supplies diapers and other incontinence products to Department, to Department of Community Health, hosted a lavish fundraiser for Rick Snyder in Bloomfield Hills, Hills, which was attended by about 150 contributors and featured crystal stemware, professional lighting design, and custom-made custom -made Rick for Michigan candy and water bottles. They raised $73,800 for Governor Snyder's re-election campaign, and it goes on to show you the video, all this. The very next day following the fundraiser, J&B Medical Supply had an existing state contract extended to the tune of nearly $400,000. Let me see. On Tuesday night, we do a nice fundraiser for you and have Rick Snyder candy. And the next day, $400,000 you get in an extended contract. Can you say, follow the money, Lebowski? I mean, the, transpar the corruption is so out in the open, it's so transparent, it's disgusting. 
Marcia says, I used to deliver J&B in Michigan for FedEx. So you know who I'm talking about, Marcia. And a lot of people will say, Jordan, why are you still talking about this? Seriously. I mean, the Flint thing happened three years ago. You know, the, the corporate media is focusing on Russia and Trump's tweets and whether Neil Gorsuch should be nominated, uh, confirmed. Some of those things are very important. But the problem is when the corporate media talks, you know, huffs and puffs about we cannot normalize Trump. Well, I think the media should stay on a story when United States citizens are poisoned and the reckless, corrupt government officials who poison the citizens are still at the helm controlling the recovery process, which hasn't been much of a recovery process. If you watched my town hall last week, you would have seen these citizens who are still in real time suffering, who are still in real time sick, who are still in real time clawing with their fingernails to get Medicaid to cover their illnesses brought on by Governor Rick Snyder, to get Medicare to cover their illnesses brought on by Governor Snyder and his cronies. And now Snyder, because the government is run by corporations and there's no accountability for elected officials, now he is allowed to shield who are the contractors bidding to retain, to do things like change the 18,000 pipes in Flint, Michigan. Are you kidding me? I mean, at, one po at what point does politics cease to exist and do Democrats and Republicans say, we got to take the keys away from this, this guy who has through gross negligence. In fairness, I'm not saying Rick Snyder intentionally knew that citizens were going to be po poisoned. I, 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 like to th I like to give the benefit of the doubt that our elected officials aren't like complete monsters. But the fact is, how in the world is it okay that Rick Snyder just signed a law unilaterally to shield who is bidding for contracts in Flint? As my colleague Nomiki uh, just reported when she was following the DC, uh, excuse me, the DNC race, there's basically this endless supply of uh, contractors that are awarded huge contracts, consultants as well, by the DNC, and that's where a lot of the money has gone traditionally. Well. I think people in Flint, the people that I met with at this town hall, the people that I went to, went out to at the White Horse Bar, good time having uh, some beers with you folks, I think they're entitled to know who is bidding for contracts to change these pipes. I think they're entitled to know who is bidding for contracts to change pipes in their homes. I think they're entitled to know who is doing anything pertaining to the Flint water crisis, which is still a crisis even though the corporate media can't be bothered to cover it. You could call me high and mighty. You could call me a Bernie bro. You could call me whatever you want. I don't really care. But the bottom line is one, uh, one person at the town hall had said to me, this essentially giving this power to Rick Snyder is like giving the rapist control over the rape kit. And I'm not trying to minimize rape. It's an awful thing. Um, not trying to diminish that in any way. But how are you going to allow the person responsible? It wasn't only Snyder, but he's the governor. The buck stops with him. How are you going to allow this guy to basically, A, control who is bidding contracts, B, control how people know about these contracts? And by the way, this isn't even to mention that the $170 million that Congress uh, granted to Flint that suddenly has been watered down to $100 million, I'd like to know where is the rest of the money going. That is going under the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality, which Governor Snyder has direct control of. So he is in charge of the funds that is supposed to go to the Flint water crisis. Well, have you ever heard of Republican politicians and even many corporate Democrat politicians? Money is earmarked for one thing, and then suddenly it goes to other little pet projects of theirs. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable that in America, citizens could get poisoned. The media moves, from, moves on from it. The, the politicians move on from it. I'm talking to you, the Democratic Party. And in fairness, I do like to criticize Tom Perez, the Democratic Party, a lot. I, I will give them credit. Tom Perez, uh, Deputy DNC Chair uh, Keith Ellison, who I think that role is kind of like, he's a prop, but whatever. Tom Perez, uh, Keith Ellison went down to Flint, I believe, two weekends ago, talked to residents. So at least they're making the effort, at least, they op at least optically, are going down there. It's a lot more than we could say for President Trump or the Republican Party or Governor Rick Snyder, who rarely goes down to Flint, I'm told, from citizens. But I'm going to stay on this because it's absolutely absurd. And again, we have proof that Snyder has granted contracts to political donors. I just told you about, literally, there was a fundraiser one night 
let me tell you again. There was a fundraiser one night where this company, uh, J&B Medical Supply, literally, uh, they, they featured crystal stemware, professional lighting design, and custom-made Rick for Michigan candy and water bottles. And then the next day, oh, J&B Medical Supply had an existing state contract extended to the tune of nearly $400,000. Hmm, no connection there. Rick Snyder, as I have reported, has paid, has given uh, benefits to Rick, uh, to fr companies in love with fracking and that benefit from fracking. Rick Snyder has extended contracts or created contracts for political donors and now is trying to shield who, which companies are bidding for important things like changing pipes in Flint. So if you think, and somebody just asked me, why does this matter? I don't know if you're being serious or whatever. Let me explain why this matters to you in, in as least condescending way as I can. Flint, Michigan is not a, um, it's not a one-off. As you saw, East Chicago, Indiana has a major lead problem as well as bacteria and other contaminants that have been found. Reuters reported recently over 3,000 cities in America have higher levels of lead and other contaminants in the water than Flint, Michigan. My hometown of Long Island, New York right now has a water contamination issue. There's a water issue in Florida. There's water problems in Milwaukee, in Cleveland, in Pittsburgh, in California. The list goes on. I'm telling you, if you just Google every single day water contamination and click on the news tab on Google, a new thing will pop up. Again, yes, Patrick, not an isolated incident. So when people say, why does this matter? Besides the fact that we should care about our fellow Americans who have been poisoned through no fault of their own and after they've been poisoned are getting little, little help. And again, this isn't like for my benefit. Go watch the town hall I did. Uh, when we convert this video from Facebook to YouTube, I will put the link back in there for you. Go watch it and you tell me why does this matter. If you don't think this matters from watching that, if you want to watch individual clips, youtube.com slash TYT politics, I don't think you're paying attention. But why this matters? Listen, if your governor, through action or inaction, directly poisoned citizens, he should not be shielding which corporations or companies are bidding on contracts to fix the pipes for the poisoned citizens. That's why it matters. I want to know who is bidding for these contracts. What are their, what are their contributions to Rick Snyder and other state Republicans or Democrats? And are they qualified? Are they going to do a thorough job? That's what I want to know, and I'm sure that's what the Flint residents want to know. That's why it matters. I'll stay on the Flint story. Uh, you know, I have sources on the ground. They're telling me information all the time. Um, and you know what? Maybe, maybe this kind of stuff doesn't go viral. I encourage you to share it. Maybe this isn't the sexy news of the day, but I'm going to keep covering it because this is what's important. You can't normalize American citizens being poisoned and then left to fend for themselves. That is not America. That's not a democracy. And I'm not a religious man, but what do they say? Do unto others how you want others to do unto you. I do believe in that. Uh, share this video. Go to youtube.com slash TYT politics. Watch the stuff I did in Flint. We have a playlist. Uh, Flint, Flint water situation, still a crisis. Share those videos. Let's get this back into the discussion. Uh, thanks as always for watching. My Twitter handle is at Jordan Charidon. J-O-R-D-A-N-C-H-A-R-I-T-O-N. Have a good day, guys.